At widely scattered bases across the nation, many ICBM silos open for the last time. Their deadly weapons pointing skyward, not to answer the threat of enemy attack, but the advance of time and technology. On alert since 1959, these giant sentinels have helped keep the peace. Now, their mission is accomplished. Teamwork between SAC and the Logistics Command's deactivation teams who delivered the ICBMs to special storage hangars near Norton Air Force Base was responsible for the splendid success of this effort. By the spring of 1965, 149 missile sites had been phased out. As a result, a total of 225 ICBMs have now been retired from operational service chalking up a savings of about $135 million a year in maintenance alone. Since deactivation began one year ago, 27 of these outdated weapons have been called back into service. Under Project Chalk Talk, managed by BSD, 13 Atlas Ds are being converted into space boosters. Following the first Chalk Talk launch in January 1965, these modifications have occurred at the rate of one a month to support a variety of space research projects and for testing advanced re-entry systems and anti-missile radar systems. Every missile was carefully inspected from the inside out and often required over 200 repairs to damaged or outdated parts. If necessary, the engines were sent to Edwards Air Force Base for static test firing. In addition, industry teams, directed by the 6595th Aerospace Test Wing at Vandenberg, had to modify the launch pads assigned to Chalk Talk, as well as perform some 20 modifications to the missile itself. As final checkout began, it was evident that total cost savings for the entire project would reach eleven and a half million dollars. With new programs similar to Chalk Talk now underway, the remaining Atlas Ds plus 134 E and F models should provide an estimated five year supply of space boosters. In the first months of 1965, our strategic strike force became two missile generations newer making it stronger and more powerful. At the close of this report period, the biggest construction job in military history, that of creating a formidable 1,000 missile, six-wing Minuteman force, moves into its final phase. From the Canadian border, south to the desert missile bases of Arizona, from the Atlantic test silos, west to the operational launchers on the Pacific. Vital programs of the Ballistic Systems Division continue, developing, testing, and improving America's great ICBM weapon systems.